Just about everyone has felt a tinge of pain in the dentist chair, but this is horrifying. Those are the screams of a three-year-old boy in the hands of a dentist whom some parents want to strangle. A dentist accused of intentionally inflicting pain and torturing children to satisfy deviant, sadistic appetites. All this revealed in court documents. I can't personally imagine a situation where there would be a worse dentist in America. Many of his little patients would have to agree. What do you think I need to know about this guy? <sighs> that he hurted me, and um, I was yelling for my mom, but he wouldn't let my mom and my dad in, and um, that he choked me. Thomas, you say the dentist punched you? Yeah. So what was the truth? He threw me, they choked me, and they sat on me. These are just three of the 81 children attorney John Phillips is representing. When you put 81 children side by side by side and you measure the level of consistency, it's off the charts. Off the charts angry is what the mothers have become. A monster, a I, sick I would see. individual yeah. who gets off on hurting young victims mm -hmm. who are helpless. This is the dentist they are all complaining about, Dr. Howard Schneider of Jacksonville, Florida. Some of Dr. Schneider's harshest critics say he ran a little shop of horrors that disfigured children and robbed them of their smiles. The 78-year-old pediatric dentist has been threatened with legal action by more than 100 families represented by two different law firms. One alleging professional malpractice, the other accusing him of a number of terrible things, including battery, false imprisonment, and intentional abuse. In one suit, Schneider's practice was called a house of horrors. Schneider's attorney fights back and says the allegations are meant to embarrass and harass his client. The more procedures, the more, the more billings. Schneider is accused of making millions off unnecessary dental work on the baby teeth of poor and disabled children. Bilking the taxpayer out of millions of dollars, one baby tooth at a time. Wow, that's a lot of teeth that pay for a grand piano. John Phillips says Schneider made millions from Medicaid and used the money to live a lavish lifestyle. I think he must have put the tooth fairy out of business in Jacksonville. Court papers claim Schneider would put children through painful procedures that were totally unnecessary just to pull money out of Medicaid. Kids would, would go in for, for caps and two months later, they'd have those same teeth that were capped extracted. Schneider's lawyer maintains all the procedures were medically necessary. This Yet the family's attorney, John Phillips, showed me bag after bag filled with children's teeth, which he says didn't need any work. Healthy baby teeth that should have fallen out naturally. All these teeth were yanked out. Seven teeth, four teeth, eight teeth, I do believe it was very unnecessary that he kept all 14 teeth. Shireen Christopher's son, Zion, is the one you hear screaming in this video. <laughs> My son was screaming about 10 minutes. Poor little Zion went in for just one cap on a decaying tooth and came out with a mouth full of metal. I started videotaping because I felt something was wrong with the procedure. I'm not sure if Dr. Schneider did realize that I was videotaping. As horrific as it is to listen to Zion screaming, imagine if you could not hear your child screaming for help. All the other hearing parents could hear what was going on, and I just sat there clueless. Amanda Barry and Nicholas Balzer are deaf, and they could not hear their son Dominic screaming in the dentist chair. They couldn't come in the room? No. And you would have wanted your mommy and your daddy there? Yeah, I was screaming for my mom. You were? Mommy couldn't hear you. No, she's deaf. With the help of a sign language interpreter, the parents told me their horror story. Dominic went in to have one tooth extracted. Instead of pulling that, he put a cap on just to cover it. And it was so dirty underneath. The it was infected. tooth was still dirty. Yes, it was badly infected. They say Schneider pulled Dominic's front teeth instead. Once he w woke up and was done, 
Dominic came out of the room and he was walking like he was drunk. So I picked him up and held him in my arms. But then when I pulled the gauze out of his mouth, his front teeth were missing. How did he treat you? Bad. He um, pulled my teeth out and he choked me. Can you show me what he did to, uh, to yourself? Like, like right. He was squeezing it? Yeah. Hard. Real hard? That must have been scary. My face was red. When Dominic's mother told me how she really felt about Dr. Schneider, we didn't need an interpreter. Yes, he's a monster. How do you say monster? 